I noticed that a reading mentioned pound defined macros, which you haven't seen before. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about the preprocessor. Just want to give you a little bit of a heads up as to what's going on. Um, a C++ program is handled much differently than a C Sharp or Java program. It actually goes through various stages to output compiled code. Um, the first step is a program or a little process called the preprocessor runs and does some textual kind of cut and paste fix up things that you'll you'll see in later videos um, and when it's done then the actual compiler kicks in uh, parses the file generates the, the code to run and spits out uh, typically an OBJ file which has code in it but that code's not complete because it could rely on other files and so the third step is the linker and the linker takes those OBJ files uh, does a bunch of fix up and kicks out an EXE or a DLL depending on the setup but anyway first step preprocessor second step compiler third step linker well let's talk a little bit about what the preprocessor does there's a few things we can use it to do a lot of things um, the book the reading the assigned reading talked about pound defines which is a caveman's way of doing const but you will see it or final I guess it's final in Java uh, anyway, so pound define. Oh, first of all, preprocessor instructions always begin with pound. So look at this. We're already using a preprocessor instructor instruction pound include IO stream, which there's some lookup rules here. Let me wave my hand a little bit. But basically, it goes grabs goes and grabs everything in this IO stream file, quote unquote, unquote and pastes it right there. So, so this disappears. And in comes a whole bunch of gibbly gobbly goop that the preprocessor spits in. It just it's a it's a copy paste job. Um, but you know to keep it clean for us, which is like the sound effect. I charge extra for that. But this weekend I'll give it to you for free. Anyway, pound include IO stream. Basically say go grab everything in IO stream and put it in. Well, the next preprocessor instruction I'm going to show you is pound define. Which is simple. We just could say pi, pound find pi, 3.1415927, I believe, unless you want more precision, then it's 6 and whatever else. Um, let's just go that deep. Um, pound to find pi as 3.1. Okay, so now I can say C out pi. And that's nice because what happens is the preprocessor, before the compiler, the preprocessor says, oh, let me look through this, and I see that pound to find pi. So I see pi, and everywhere I see pi, um, I am going to replace the letters pi with 3.141. Oops, see, I just grabbed. Oh, yeah. Uh, with 3.141592.7. So essentially, copy. Let's be the preprocessor. Copy, paste. If we run it, we see 3.141592. I got rid of my 2.7. Let's go back to pi. I'm going to say C out, pi, uh, build it, run it, preprocess it, compile it, link it, all that kind of stuff. Uh, same result, 3.14159. Um, anyway, so in a nutshell, that's that's pound defined pi. Uh, this is frowned upon a lot, but you'll see it in older code and even in recent code. Some programmers like it. Uh, again, another religious holy war. Um, definitely, uh, my take on it is ref uh, prefer using const which is a lot like final and we'll see how to use const correctly later um, instead of doing this but this is something you will see and, and I noticed the reading was talking about it so I wanted to do a little video on it